and from the underground's past to the future of the railway. New images have been released showing some of the latest stages of work on Crossrail. It includes a new nature reserve for the RSPB Wallasey Island in Essex. Crossrail is Europe's largest construction project with 7,000 people working at more than 40 sites across London and the South East. Crossrail will link Maidenhead and Heathrow to the west of London and Shenfield and Abbey Wood to the east. The first trains are due to run in 2017. Now, old jeans are usually what we throw on to do the gardening, fix the car or even a spot of DIY. But for the artist Ian Berry, they could be worth a fortune. He uses denim cast offs to recreate scenes from London streets. He cuts them up and painstakingly glues them back together to make some familiar scenes. He's just returned from showing his work in Miami, where some of his pieces sold for more than £4,000. And Ian joins us now in the studio. How did this all start? I always blame my mum because when I was at university, um, I'd go home Easter and these kind of holidays. And she always wanted me to clear my room because she wanted a guest room. So I went back one Easter and there was piles of DVDs, books, and then a big pile of jeans. So I just thought, hmm, like, where do I get started with all this tidying up? And then something hit me about all these shades of jeans. Mm. And rather than tidy up, I thought, let's try and make some images. So that was about 2006. But because I had a, a proper job then, <laughs> um, it was often German nights, yeah. weekends doing the work. How and easy is denim to work with? I mean, obviously, we're just talking about the tube, so we may as well take a look at, I think, the picture that's down here, which actually uh, is a scene from the tube. How yeah. easy is it to put something like that together? Um, it's quite... It's, I wouldn't say it's easy. It's, um, it's pretty hard, and I've had to learn different techniques throughout the last few years. Um, different scissors at the beginning, it was... I was using blunt scissors and the ones which didn't fit my hands, so I was getting blisters. Um, but now it's, now it's almost like I just let the jeans do the work. I find yeah. different textures, shades, and it just fits. And why London? Uh, I'm English, but I live in Sweden. And I did live in London for three years prior to leaving. And I just love the city. I want to move back in many ways, but also it's a very distracting city. So I may... You can't concentrate on producing these no, wonderful it's, pieces. No, it's 16 hour days sometimes, yeah. like full time. And I think in London, I'd be at the pub and <laughs> <laughs> having too much fun, I think. So it's a sensible choice in that case. So what, uh, yeah. was it, what was it like being in Miami and seeing your pieces go for such huge amounts? It was, it was really nice because I was actually meeting people who I'd admired for years, like different artists, actually curators, galleries, what I've read magazines about. And suddenly I'm in their presence and yeah. almost on a par with them, um, having what drinks. What was that out. like? What did that feel like? Really, really surreal. Um, I mean, I'm a boy from Huddersfield and like, this kind of thing doesn't always happen. So it was kind of really special and yeah. almost like another step. Fabulous. Mm. So what happens next with you? Um, I'm currently taking photos and getting inspiration from London again because I'm showing at the Cato Gallery up in Hampstead in the autumn. Um, so it's most of the year is going to be spent doing that because they do take a, long, a lot of time. Yeah. Mm. Well, Ian, thank you so much no, for you. joining us and good luck with the exhibition. No, thank you. Okay. Right. Okay, time.